You have a lover connected to you who has been clearing space. Clearing space for who? You. Go with me here, though. It's subconscious. There's an individual. These are collective. You have to take to resonate. Some of you have met each other. You're already in the state of talking. Some of you, though, have not met this person. They are, as we speak, though, no matter what collective you're part of, this person is actively releasing toxic tendencies, people, situations that no longer serve to make room for whoever their divine is. They don't have a specific person in mind. But if you are in connection with this person already and you're talking to them, what I see is if you've gone into the form of separation, there will be a rose presented to you. They absolutely, when you started your dynamic, even though they felt something for you, too much chaos going on in their life to start anything. And they weren't very well at communicating that. At the same time, it's not, and go with me here, you guys know I'm here for you. Okay, It, it was not uh, a needed thing for them to tell you what was going on. There, at this point, there was no dynamic where you were owed an explanation to why they had to kind of like release the dynamic. You weren't official. You hadn't gone into a deep amount of intimacy. There was intimacy, but not a deep amount. It was very fresh. Okay. So be that being said is why I state when they separated, there is some understandance as to why they didn't think it was a big deal to express to you why. I, don't, I, I see this person didn't even understand how much you truly felt this dynamic with them. Interesting energy. So, as they've been clearing what no longer serves, they're also building their, they're building like a whole new community. They're seeing the power of their friends, like whoever they surround themselves with, how it affects their life. And they're starting to be very um, selective, if you will, with who gets their free time, who gets their presence. This individual, if they are connected to you and you've gone into separation, is presenting you a rose. If you've never met this person, what they're telling me is you are energetically aligned as we speak to your divine. There's not a disturbance. There's not both of you reading signs incorrectly or uh, avoiding work. And I see you crossing your paths any day now, any moment now. Not being obsessed or hyper-focused or center-focused only on timelines is how you bring people in and what's meant for you sooner. So, what's the next, let's get like the next five months. What's going to build within this connection? All right. There's going to be a lot of curiosity. There's going to be a lot of learning about each other. I do see healthy boundaries being established pretty much from the beginning, which is good. I see an individual that absolutely, uh, this is a good person to look up to. I see somebody that's naturally talented in a lot of aspects and you're going to teach each other your crafts, if you will. I see in the next five months this transforming into... A beautiful, beautiful dynamic. Um, for a lot of you, there could already, by that five-month mark, be official commitment for some of you. It's just such a deep sense of like basically being committed without the words, but not because of avoidance, just because of that slow and steady wins the race. Five months of getting to know somebody is a great start. Sometimes you know sooner. And sometimes, even though you know sooner, you know you still have to do slow and steady wins the race. The only thing you have to do to continue bringing whoever this person is in your life 
is the foundation you have made. You just got over an extreme tower moment. Tower moments are when everything crumbles down. So you have to start from the ground up again, but to build off something structured strong. All the tower moments you just went through, you now have that complete ground and you've already started building. You've already started with a whole new, not a whole new crew, but the crew with, with updated items, if you will, meaning your found family. Um, well, let me go. You have new people added to your crew, but loyal, loyal people that have already been there for a long time, rebuilding are upgrading your empire, your building, your energy, etc., your life. Those old family members, those workers that were there before, a lot of those that I'm talking about are meaning also though your guides, your ancestors, people that have passed on. They are still here. And newfound family members, new people who are humans in this existence have been added to your crew as well. They want you to continue to build off of this stable foundation. They want you to understand that the connections that are being forward and brought to you are going to excel your timeline. And it takes a lot of power and willpower on your end to see the bigger picture and not run away from things. They're wanting you to know to cleanse yourself from anybody that you feel when you feel that there are sirens in your life versus mermaids you have to know the difference between the voice of your parasite and the voice of your intuition and here's the thing when you're when you're feeling insecure or rocky waters if you will it is very easy for the parasite to mimic the voice of your intuition when you're surrounding yourself with people who you can feel internally don't have your best interest or are speaking words that don't align with their actions, you can't ignore that. You are to make sure that the people are surrounding you do align with comfortability within you and understand the difference between if somebody's entered your life to make you become more comfortable with being uncomfortable for further growth or this person has bad ill willed intentions so what they're stating is not only the mental processes and habits and reactions and uh, new life etc that you have built and will continue to build after tower moments you just received another thing to continue to to transform from is not only the internal but when it comes to outside people but the, the reason you feel me going like back and forth like this is because part of the message is also saying you can't see new people as sirens you can't always just instantly think oh this is a new person so i have to there's a difference between having your eyes perked and being aware Versus like searching for anything, like trying to find something bad. But that does not mean you see only the good in a person or the bad. They need you to understand the full picture. So you're going to, the thing that they're stating for you to go forward, focusing on is the balance of keeping your inner trust when you know that there are sirens around you or people with ill-willed intentions, but also knowing when your paranoia and the parasite is trying so hard to make you believe certain people or aspects, etc., don't have your best interest or are playing with your heart or uh, trying to be the end of you, etc. in so many ways, meaning like take what's yours or mess things up in your life or manipulate you, etc. You have to use your discernment from when it's true, when it's just, versus when it's just your parasite wanting you to not 
continue to release the negativity because if it doesn't have the negativity, it has nothing to eat and it dies. It has to go into hibernation with no food. That's what I have for you today. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, go to offprintmint.com. The link is in all of my social media platforms. Now, let's also talk about Patreon. Over on Patreon at Uncle Bronze, I have seven tier levels. Every single level receives two extra videos every single week. The beginning of the week is Viking Divination. Uh, the beginning of the week is Archangel Ascension, and the end of week is Viking Divination. Basically, they are videos that help you channel the masculine and feminine energy that's going to be brought to you the next upcoming week, but also what spirit's guiding you to give the world the next upcoming week. I call it energy forecast readings. Think of a weather forecast. Same thing before the spirituality sense, the law of attraction sense. At tier seven, that's where the tarot teaching starts. And tiers three through seven are eligible for two video chat reading giveaways every single month. My video chat readings are one hour long, one topic of your choice, and valued at $388.88. Again, two of those are given away every single month for tier three through seven patrons. If you're interested in learning more, go to the Patreon. The link is in my YouTube and Instagram uh, profiles all over my website, or you can simply go to patreon.com, type the name in Uncle Bronze in that search bar, and you'll see me pop up. So I got for y'all today, and I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it. Thank you.